Hello there, this is the legendary Arduino Uno board. All electronics enthusiasts should be familiar with this board. By the way, it has some outdated things like the Type-B USB port, which is bulky. Then it has only female header pins for connections. The barrel jacks also seems very traditional. So I decided to build an updated version of Arduino Uno and I made this. My custom Arduino Uno has Type-C USB port, a JST battery connector, a NeoPixel LED, an on-off switch, pins for servo motors, pins for 5V, 3.3V and ground pins, both the male and female connectors for digital and analog pins, dedicated i square c port and a Bluetooth port. So in this video, I am showing how I made this. Let's get started with this video. I started by designing the circuit diagram in ECEDA. I used the original Arduino circuit as a reference and added the extra components. After designing the circuit, I converted it into a PCB. Here is the PCB after design. I used the same outline of Arduino Uno. To fabricate the PCB, I generated and downloaded the GUB file. Then I went to jlcpcb.com. I chose JLC PCB because they offer only $2 for 5 PCBs and their PCB assembly starts from $0. To place an order, click on Order Now and select the GUB file. After uploading the file, we can select the color, quantity, thickness, etc. Here I chose purple color and finally I select the shipping method and place the order. After 2 weeks, I received the PCBs from JLC PCB. Here are our PCBs. They look nice and the quality is super as I expected. Now let's start the soldering job. I soldered all SMD components to the PCB using a normal soldering iron. You can clearly see how I am soldering SMD components with the soldering iron. First apply some solder to the one side of the pad and place the component. Now heat it up and solder the other side. That's it. After soldering the SMD components, I soldered the through hole components like the switch, the IC socket, after completing the soldering of all components, our PCB looks something like this. Now it's time to place the Atmega328 IC on its socket. After that, I connected the Arduino to laptop and uploaded the sample blink code. Here you can see the result. Everything worked as I expected. Now I uploaded the NeoPixel code and see the result. You can download this circuit diagram and also buy this Arduino from my website. All links are given in the description. That's it. I hope you got some ideas and learned something new from my video. If so, please consider supporting me by liking, sharing and subscribing. I wish you a healthy and happy new year to all. Thanks for watching. Bye.